Uh, Dortmund with a 3-0 away win over Darmstadt. Brandt, Royce, and Mukoku with the goals. Jaden Sancho came on early in the second half and assisted the Royce goal. Gio Reyna came on late in the second half. Not much time to do anything. The big story with Gio off the field, he has switched agents, no longer with the Wasserman Group, now represented by Georgie Mendes. The stories are framing it as if it's to get a move in the summer, but a lot of rumors for, about him in this window. Uh, he was supposedly offered Marseille and turned it down. Now, La Liga teams are interested, Real Sociedad, Sevilla. So the Geo situation might be coming to a head here in the next couple of weeks. So, you know, let's, let's take the uh, the representation thing first. Uh, going from Wasserman to, like you said, George Mendes, um, super agent, if you will. And especially when it comes to Europe, Cristiano Ronaldo and all that. And, you know, I think that they recognize that they want to move and that they feel a move is there in Europe. But they want more heft, I guess, behind the representation and experience and I guess power when it comes to this crucial move. Because I think this next move for him is crucial in terms of his development and getting to a place that enables him to kind of rewrite the Gio Reyna story. Because while everybody recognizes how talented he is, it is fizzled out when it comes to Dortmund in a way that you don't normally see young players. And so he has a little bit of... Um, rectifying, if you will, both he as a player and I guess his representation too. So that, and players change agents, uh, change agents all the time. So you're, 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 you're saying that the stories are framing it as it's not going to happen here in this transfer window, but it's going to happen in summer. Yeah. I read a couple of stories about him switching agents and that's how they frame it. It's to help okay. him get a move in the summer, but there are all sorts of stories about him moving. At I guess it would be on loan uh, this window and then a permanent move would occur in the summer potentially. So maybe that's what's happening. Yeah. I never had a, you know, I had a loan down in Ecuador. And so you're coming into an already established situation. It's obviously a very different type of dynamic when you're coming in, in the middle of a season, when you're coming in, like I said, to a team that's already been established both on and off the field, all of that dynamic, those, you know, those, those relationships are there and you just kind of are wedged in. And so it, I, there's almost a part of me that would, would rather kind of see him, you know, play the summer with the men's national team, get a break, and then come in for a preseason and a regular preseason with whatever team he needs. Because I think, I think Gio in particular too, this might be different for other players. I think Gio in, partic in, in particular, I think he needs to have that betting in period where people understand, when I say people, his teammates mostly, understand what he is and what he isn't because he is a strange unique player there's talent there but he's not like all other players and i think if you are playing on a team with him it takes a little time to adjust and understand that so i'm not sure he could hit the ground running if he if he just changed here in uh, in the january window i mentioned he was offered marseille and turned it down he was asked why and he said it was because league on didn't crack alexi lalas's <laughs> top five destinations he for watches America. he knows Gio knows he said yeah i'm not doing that boy you like that clip well, my State of the Union podcast drops twice a week right here on my very own YouTube page. The only way to stay up to date is to hit that subscribe button down below. Size the day and see you soon.